Hey guys, Metal Viking 82 here, back with a new Viking Orations. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the brand new single from Cataclysm, entitled The Kill Shot, off of their 14th studio album, Unconquered, which is coming out September 25th through Nuclear Blast. Um, yeah, 14 albums. Damn, you know, these guys have been around for a long, long time. Um... I will say, though, their last several albums, to me, have been very, very hit and miss. I mean, it's got some good parts and a lot of stuff. It's like, eh. But this song, holy shit. It is like a whole new cataclysm. It's like they are revitalized. Um, it starts with this very cool intro with this kind of militaristic drum beat and this slow-picked riff with another riff just building to a crescendo in the background before the heavy blast beats kick in. And it's heavy as fuck riff. And... Uh, yeah, this real thick bass takes up. Um, I love the drum production on here. It's very heavy, and I especially like the snare sound during the blast beats. It just sounds really awesome. Um, and I believe they're called Gravity Blasts. Um, they, the ones that are in this song really remind me of uh, the song Ambassador of Pain, which is probably my favorite Cataclysm song ever, off of the Serenity and Fire album. Um, it's a lot of really good double bass work on here. The bass, as I said, is really thick and right up front in the mix. I really like the tone they got here. It's just really heavy. I absolutely love it. Uh, guitars have that nice heavy crunch to them. Uh, definitely some very headbangable riffs in this song. And, of course, Mauricio's vocals sound as good as ever. Um, he doesn't seem to go for his lower growl that he does, uh, at least on this song. Uh, let's see here, about a uh, minute and 51 seconds in, he does this, these sick screams, really highlighting key words in the sentences that he's doing. I absolutely loved that. Uh, th at about three minutes and 13 seconds in, I love how they uh, layered his shouts with the even higher pitched screams in the background. So he's already doing these high shouts, and he does even higher ones in the back. I just love how they layered those together. They sound really badass. Um... About two minutes and 17 seconds into the song, there's this section where there's this really heavy riff and bass part that combined with those pounding drums and Mauricio's, ugh, just sounds so badass. I loved it. Um, at the end, you hear a shotgun racking as uh, the chorus is being said one last time, then blam, and the song just ends. Now, the weird thing is, is that I actually heard this song on... Um, liquid metal here recently and i you know of course cranked it up so i could listen to it and that part was missing so i'm not sure if it's you know in the actual song or if you know because the video i saw where i was listening to this song was a uh, lyric video or if that's just something that somebody put in i know in the actual music video that part is in there so i'm not sure if it's you know just actually supposed to be a part of the song or not but regardless if it is that is a hell of a way to end a song like this um overall killer killer song probably some of their heaviest and most inspired work and sometime um hopefully this is a sign of things to come with this album i'm really hoping the rest of the album has that same fire that same heaviness that this song does because you know nothing is worse than when you get a kick-ass single and you get excited for an album and then it turns out to be a turd you know and like that was the only good song on there but i have a feeling that cataclysm are going to deliver so yeah go check out this song and, uh, yeah, pick up the album, September 25th, Nuclear Blast, Unconquered by Cataclysm. That is going to do it. Thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing. And until next time, stay brutal.